You will place your trust in others and be rewarded in bed. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Shell Eats. I ain't got a little jingle, but I just felt like dancing. Y'all know I like to dance. And before we get into what I will be having today, as you guys can see, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I upload a video. Ding! So today I have me some Chinese food. I have some beef broccoli without the beef I always get it I like the sauce that they put on it but I don't like the beef so I I don't get the beef I just have beef broccoli some chow mein some orange chicken some fried rice and some veggie vegetable um egg rolls um yeah vegetable I think they're kind of soggy I'm gonna try to eat it with chopsticks but we all know that I really don't know how to use chopsticks but we'll try I'll try anything oh and I have a Red Bull that I will be drinking today. I need a little energy, even though it doesn't give me energy. It's all in my head. I think that gives me energy. It, it really doesn't. I haven't had one in a long time, though. And I got a fortune cookie. We'll see what my fortune says after I eat it. You know they say when you um, read a fortune cookie, when you, after you read what it says, you're supposed to say in bed. So we'll see what it says in bed. But let's get into this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try some broccoli first. You know what? I need some soy sauce. Some soy sauce. On everything. Broccoli. On it all. Yes, I do. And I'm gonna put some of this chili sauce on my orange chicken. I can't never get into these packets. It's like they, they don't want you to get in there this time. I don't know. We're going to put it on my orange chicken. Just uh, I, I don't want too much because I ain't the hot lady. So that's enough. So let's get into it. I wonder how this broccoli tastes in sweet and sour sauce. Let's see. I wonder why when we eat, we stick our tongue out. I don't know. That's weird. But I noticed that I do that. I really don't even like broccoli. I do, but I don't. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. That's a big, big piece of broccoli. I think I like it because of the crunchy. I like crunchy fruits and veggies. Yes, I know that Red Bull is not good for you. Don't come for me in the comments. Talking about Red Bull ain't good for you. I know this. I know it. But I like it sometimes. I don't even know how to hold these things. Y'all like when people do that, huh? <laughs> you have to try everything. This orange chicken is good.
with a little dash of that uh, chili sauce. It's quite tasty. That's how you know the food is good when you dance. I haven't been to um, Panda Express in a long time. It's been a minute since I've been to Panda Express. They built a, they put a new one by my house and it didn't taste so well, but I went to that one and it actually tastes okay. When we went the first time, like when they first opened, I guess maybe they just wasn't ready or something. I don't know, but it didn't taste good at all. My kids love that place. They're not so crunchy. Took me a while to eat them. Now let's see if I can get this rice up on these chopsticks. A little bit of it. I'm not gonna even eat a lot of this rice because I'm gonna be full. Let's move this over. Let's turn it this way. Maybe that's why um people don't get so full. When they eat Chinese food, if they use chopsticks, because you ain't getting that much food on it. This is not real Chinese food, though. Because, I don't know. Shouldn't this rice be sticky or something? Who knows? No, because fried rice is not sticky when you buy it. When you get it from, like, I don't know. But I don't think I like the rice. The rice seems dry to me. I learned that the um, the chow mein has less um, excuse me less calories than the rice. When you you know how you go in there and it shows you the um, calorie count, and I would think that the rice had more cal. I mean that the well yeah I would think that the chow mein because it's pasta, but it actually has less calories than the rice does. I really like the chow mein better anyway than the rice. They give you a lot of food. They really do. Excuse me. Excuse me again. So unladylike. Rather out it's better out than in. Better out than in. Yes, it is, my friend. I don't really like this um vegetable egg roll. I don't like the chicken one either. I don't like them um, clear noodles that they put in it. I don't know what they call it, but the little clear noodles look like little worms inside. Somebody probably was like, we didn't need to hear that. Rice noodles. Hmm. I'm actually getting full. This is a lot of carbs. Really is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots. Why do I act so silly? I don't know. It's a part of life. It's a part of my life, actually. I just like to be silly. I don't think life should be so serious all the time. Mm. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
it's just in there. It's the Red Bull. I think when I eat spicy stuff, I um burp, I belch. I don't know why. I always look oily. Oil is good for the skin though. That's why they um that's why we be looking so young. If you, you got oily skin, you may look a little younger than what people may think you are. Well, I was about to say guess my age, but I've already told you guys my age. All you have to do is go back and look on the videos before this one, because I've already said how old I was. But if you haven't seen those videos, how old do you think that I am? And it's okay to guess. It, you know, men don't like to guess a woman's age because they think that they, um, you know, it's an insult. It's not an insult to me. I really don't care because I know that I don't look my age. I know that I don't, but so if you want to take a guess, take a shot at how old do you think that I am? I must not really been hungry today. I think it's the pasta and the rice and I didn't eat a lot of rice. Oh, and this. Thing. But then this is battered. I don't, I already know that. But what did I eat? I didn't eat anything. I don't think I'm really hungry though. Sometimes I think that I'm hungry. And then I just did a video before this. I ate some snacks from some different places, some different, um, country states whatever you want to call them um so that could be the reason too sometimes i just think i'm hungry i think my daughter wanted panda express so we went there and i was like oh i can give me some panda express i'm hungry but i'm not really hungry as i thought i was because uh i'm full but i think it's all those snacks because the snacks i tried several different snacks that's why you really can't do two eating videos in a day. Now, if you was doing maybe a challenge, well, if it's an eating challenge video, you still can't do that, but like just those little challenges, like I was gonna do the popsicle challenge. I should still do that one. But when you do those challenge, I mean, when you do eating videos in the same day, it's kind of hard to eat everything. Well, at least for me it is. I don't know about anybody else. But for me it is because I don't have, I don't eat that much anyway. I already don't eat a lot. I was shocked when I ate that quadruple cheeseburger, hamburger, whatever. I shocked my own self. But I didn't even eat. I don't think I ate all of that day. So yeah, I'm going to eat this and then I'm not going to eat anymore because I'm not going to Stuff myself. So we can get into my fortune. What my fortune says. Don't like fortune cookies, so I won't be eating that. Does it wish not come true if you don't eat the fortune cookie? Huh. It says you will place your trust in others and be rewarded in bed. <laughs> Let's see if I can show y'all that. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm be rewarded in bed. That better be a good reward. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop it. So, anyways, how y'all doing today? What y'all got going on? It's a nice Tuesday afternoon here. Well, it's, it's probably, um, well, it's still afternoon. It's still afternoon. 
But, you know, how y'all doing today? I, I probably did absolutely, positively nothing today. Oh, no, I didn't. I got up and I had to take my daughter to the... She had to go to the summer... I think it's called the Summer Summit. Or something like that at the school. She has to go for three days. So she has to go Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I got up and I took her there. She said it was so hot. Well, no, she said it, was, it really wasn't that hot today. Today it was only like 70 something. I think it's gotten up to about 80 now. And um, so it wasn't that bad when she went there. And she said that she, they had them walk around school. So she found out where her classes would be, where she would have to walk to get to each class or whatever. And uh, so she has to go back again tomorrow. I don't know what they'll be doing, but they have to go for three days. And um, in the program that she's, yeah, it's a program. It's called the Promise Program. They promise to pay your school tuition for two years if you graduated in 2019, graduated from high school in 2019 in uh, our school district, in our area where we live. And so they promise to pay her thing for two years and she's gonna be going to school for a long time. She's going to school to be a um, plastic surgeon so she can work on her mama. But yeah, so she's going to be going to school for a long time. But it's good that, you know, it's paid for for those two years of prereq. She can get those out of the way and then she'll transfer to a four-year um, college. She's going to ju the junior college. But she'll go there for two years and then she'll transfer to um, the college of her choice. Well, she had a choice. She could have went to Delaware. I was trying to tell her she should have went just so that she could get the experience to be a little more independent. But, you know, these kids, they don't like to go nowhere far. And she did, at first she wanted to go, and then all of a sudden she changed her mind and said she didn't want to go there. Um, so, yes, yeah, so she's going to junior college. And they, like I said, they pay for your schooling for two years. They even pay for your books. They pay for transportation. Like if she was driving, they would pay for her parking pass or something like that at school, but she doesn't drive. She can take and she can take the bus for free, which she's a little too bougie to take the bus. But she probably gonna be getting on that bus because if I go to work at the time she goes to school, she will be getting on the bus. I don't know how she thinks she's gonna get there, but I won't be taking her. Yeah, so I think that's a good little program for her for for the kids. I mean, I think that's good because a lot of parents can't afford to send their kids to school. You know, school is expensive. It's really expensive, and then to have them going to the school and have to take out all these loans and. You know, I have a friend, his daughter, um, she got a full scholarship to, uh, well, almost full. Well, it, you can say it's a full scholarship because all she's paying out of her pocket is $2,000. And, you know, I was like, well, that's not bad for a whole, you know, the whole year or whatever. And, but she got a scholarship to um, college. So, I, you know, that, that was, that's really good because everybody can't afford to pay for college. I know I can't. And you know, let society tell it, or the government tell it. They say I I can't afford. It. No, I cannot afford it. That's what y'all want to say because y'all go by my gross income, go by what I take home because that gross ain't nowhere near what I take home. But um, yeah. So I thought I thought that was good that uh, you know, they did that for the the kids. And I think they have like over. I think the guy said it's over like a thousand students that they're paying for but they they have to do some community service i think it's like 20 hours of community service they have to do they have to go to um like the summer bridge is summer bridge i think i call it a summer summit or something it's summer bridge they have to go to that for the three days in order to stay in the program and they have to keep a 2.0 grade point average in order to stay in the program for them to continue to pay their tuition for a uh, school so that's a pretty good i think that's a pretty good um program that they have for you know for kids who desire to go to college but really can't afford to go to college so it's a pretty good pretty good idea pretty good thing to do for our kids yeah. hopefully they still have that program when my son graduates he has two more years hopefully they still do but uh i believe he'll get a scholarship because he's into music and uh he's been in it since he was in like sixth or seventh grade and his teacher kind of told him that he would get a scholarship my daughter was in choir, and I would always tell her you need to get in the, um, it's some choir that if, you, if you're if you in that choir, you have to be in it for two years, that can, re that can guarantee you a scholarship, but she didn't want to be in that choir because it was an all-girl choir. I don't know why she didn't, but I told her she should have. But I mean, she didn't want to be, you know, choir wasn't her 
major, but I said you could have took that as your minor just to get you in the school, but she didn't want to do that. You know, kids don't like to listen, but they'll learn to listen one day. I guess when they have kids, they'll learn that maybe I should have listened to my mother when she told me to do such and such. Now my kids are doing the same thing that I did to my mom. Yeah, well, it's... <sighs> yeah, these children, these children, these children, these children. You gotta love them, though. I love them to death. But sometimes I want them through. Maybe I shouldn't say that on camera, huh? I want to strangle their neck. Yes, I want to strangle my kid's neck. Well, it's not even my kids. It's just one of them I want to strangle her neck. But yeah, so you guys, I've gotten a little fool. I talked to you guys for a little while. I told you guys a little bit about my kids, my children. How do you guys hear? So it's not a super long video. So thank you for joining me on my Panda Express mukbang, my orange chicken, broccoli, chow mein, and rice. It was all great, but I wasn't really that hungry. So I'll eat it later. I'm not. It's not going to go to waste. And I'm probably going to eat it today. I'll probably eat it tomorrow, but it will be eaten. But thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with every and anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you will be notified each and every time I upload a video. Oh, sorry. Peace out. Love you guys. Bye.